everybody. Here What's we up? are. Welcome back. Back to the Minish Cap. So Sierra is about to attempt her first dungeon ever. Ever. Well, of Zelda. Of Zelda, yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, I don't know if you know the layout for how a, a Zelda dungeon typically works, or if I should tell you how it... Oh, you, know... so you, you can't break those with your sword, you have to pick them up. So use, the, use R, I believe, and you can throw them. And that You might be able to push them, or that might not be in this game. Oh, there's a little... Yeah, there's a web, you can't do, any, do much with that yet. So basically the way that most Zelda games work um, are you have a dungeon, and somewhere within the dungeon you'll find and I know. a map oh. and a compass. The map will show you the layout of the entire dungeon, and the compass will show you where things are in the dungeon. Oh, well that's, yeah. So you kill those. Um, and then at some point you're probably going to fight like a mini boss, or like do like a challenge or something like that, and you'll get an item. Okay. And you will use that item to access the like actual boss that will give you a heart and a piece of something. Here you are. Was I doing Ezlo's voice? I thought you were. I don't know, but there's a locked door here, and I'll see <laughs> if I can find a key. Well, it's probably not in here because it looks like you don't have the item. You need. Is there a door here? No, I don't believe so. At least. Not about the shield. There's that little wimpy shield. You can get out. Yeah, there you go. No. Oh. That's, that's the only ways I could go. Wait, is it? Yeah. Hmm. Um. I actually don't remember what to do for this dungeon. <laughs> it's oh, the God. first one. I'm sorry, I didn't play this that long ago, but I've only played it once. There's probably is something in this room then. Maybe stand in like the middle of that thing? No? Hmm. Uh... Oh, so you don't need a lantern yet. Okay. I don't know why. For some reason, I thought you needed like a lantern or that block item that you get eventually. Alright. So, yeah. Oh, there's also keys. That's the other thing. So you, you'll, you'll, you'll use small keys to open those doors, and then to get to the final boss, you have to unlock, a, or you have to find a big key to unlock their door. So if you remember, you can't swim in water. Oh, because I'm tiny and I'll drown, right? Yeah, well, that water is... Well, yeah, just, yeah, that works. So if you throw a pot in water, you don't get the item in it. Oh. But, so, oh, well, Ezlo will tell you what's up. Do you see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand in front of it and press R. Okay, got it. <laughs> oh, the and, sweat. Yep. Oh, that's like a common... Oh, well, shit. good job. So now you're going to do the same thing with this. It's not an enemy. you got to pull all the way back. It looks like a dick. <laughs> and... Yep, oh, wrong button. Oh, what do I have to do? You want to stop, stop pulling back. So just keep holding on to it. So like... Yeah, oh. there you go. Oh, it launches you. Yep. You can also throw pots at enemies and hurt them, especially since your sword is like a low level. I think it does more damage than your sword. Yeah, pot pots are just like the greatest in this game or in all Zelda games. Also, you. Well, oh God, I so you can you. push them. Okay, I thought you could. Suit me too. Um. Yes, yeah, so I don't think you can push those blocks yet. Um, so be careful with this guy, because he leaves behind a poison thing. Oh, that gas. Yeah. You don't want to get touched by that. You're not You're not hitting him. He, like, dodges. Oh. Um, oh. Wow, look at the size of that barrel. Oh, right. Right. How silly of me. It's not big. We're just small. And this guy's supposed to be a Picori. So try going up. Oh. There. Oh, that list. Yeah, I believe if you... Push that button. That should light on fire and burn the vines. Yep. <clears throat> you'll you'll see what that does. Okay. Oh, this guy's in your way. Oh. oh, and he creates more of that stuff. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so now go... This is a weird perspective because it's round. So now go... I think you can go through there. Yeah. Okay, so now you have, now you have to get rid of the vines on the other side. No, you're 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 on the correct side. You need to go around them. Yeah. 
and yeah, pretty much the same thing as before. Although, oh uh, yeah, so now here's your first I got puzzle. It, I got it. I got yeah, it. I got it's it. a really hard one. <gasps> you did it. <laughs> you figured it out. Congratulations. Yay! Applause all around. Standing ovation. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you just keep going back through the way that you came. Get these little guys out of your way, or run into them. Either one, it's your choice. And so now. Oh, what? He, hey, be it. careful, my lad. The barrel just moved. So now run up along. Yeah. Physics, as I would say. And just did. Oh. Wait, is that what I want? Oops. That's what you want eventually. But for now, you want that. Because that's how you get up here. Uh, but but you need a key. What? Too bad. What? So that's, so I that can't even shut. go to that door. Try, try pushing the block. Okay, that didn't do anything. Okay, try going back in the barrel again. Maybe try going to the bottom left. There should be a way to access that. Maybe. Yep, there it is. That's so cool. Yeah. It's really thoughtful. That's one of the things I liked about this game is they did... There's there's just, like, more creativity with interactions with the world. Try pushing it to the side, maybe. It might just push out like you're supposed to only So go. what is this ground clouds? Nothing? They just slow you down a little? Yeah, you'll, there's, there's a little bit more to it. That you'll figure out once you get the first item. I feel like the first item in this in this game is kind of weird though. It's like a weird usually like stereotypically he gets like a boomerang or something like that as his first item. And this one is just kind of weird. But it ends up being useful for the whole game. And look at that. You are ten rupees richer. So this should the be the blue are worth five. Yeah. So there's your map. So you found a dungeon map. So now Everything, you can see the total layout of the dungeon, just not where anything is. But you can see where you are. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then controls are pretty logical with that. So if you go to the start menu, yeah. One more. So that's it, and you can change floors. So that's But that's everything. So oh, that's cool. what the whole dungeon is. And so when you get the compass, you'll see like, oh, there's a treasure chest in this room. There's the okay. bosses in this room. Oh, oops. Et cetera. So now, do you know what to do here? Wait. Hang on. Don't tell me. Just let me. Alright. Oops. Can I launch myself a little bit less? Yes. There Just you. like that. There you go. I'm so smart. You can go through either way. You don't really need to go to the right because that just brings you back. Um, so that guy is pretty annoying. I don't think you can actually kill him. That fly dude. Okay. I think. If that's the enemy I'm thinking of. Does he follow of. you around? Uh, kind of. Maybe you can actually. Try attacking him. Okay, never mind. Not the same enemy I was thinking of. What we need now is something to hold down this switch. Hmm, I wonder what we should use. Better chuck that pot into the ocean. <laughs> what if I did? What would happen? Then you just have to reset the room. Oh, you did not want to pick it up. That was a bad. That was a poor choice. You chose poorly. Oh. All right, you have to reset the room now. Oh God. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you so have you chosen out. poorly. And now you're, now you're good to I try again. It. So you don't want to pick it up. You just want to push it. Well, oh a, a li little farther than that. Yeah, there you go. Almost there. Keep going. Good job, Link. All right. So yeah, just keep going through the dungeon. Um, oh, I know what to do. Hang you on. know what to do here? Once you take hold of something with R, use blah, blah, blah to push or pull it. <laughs> This is extremely important, so I told you to take pains to remember it and don't throw shit everywhere instead. But wait, once... okay. Uh, well, that... You, okay. Oh, you can grab them. That's good. So, yeah, there you go. And what did you find? I've played games before, Joshua. A key! Woo! Well... I guess we can find out where that key goes uh, in the next episode. In the next episode. In the next episode. All right. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.